Hola, here to do a collective reading, guys. Today we're asking the general question. No communication, what the fuck is going on? No communication, WTF is going on. We will do an extended read in this or on this where I'll take a deeper dive into the extended. We're going to free flow. You know how it goes. So if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, guys, all of the information is listed down below. If you'd like to book a life coaching session with me, you can find that information down below as well. If you're interested in about 80% of the decks that I use on this channel, you can find those linked down below, plus a lot of other things uh, on a list titled or in a link titled. These are a few of my favorite things. And if you'd like to donate to the channel in any type of way, you can find that information down below as well. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please, please, please take some time to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments. Give me that thumbs up. Why? Because you two be dripping, dripping. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor. Please moonwalk your job ass on away from it. So on the count of three, we are going to take our deep breath. One, two, three. Let's get it. All right, universe. No communication. Doing an energetic update. What is going on with that person? Energetic update. First card out. Didn't we have this last week? Me and my ego. Then we have altered view. No communication, universe. What's going on with that person? Please keep these messages as clear and as simple as possible, universe. No communication. What's going on with that person? One at a time. No communication. What is going on with that person? We have meow. That's such a stupid title. Having fun, trying to fit in. Yeah, whatever. No communication. What is going on with that person? No communication. What is going on with that person? Universe, get two more on this. No communication. What is going on with that person? Universe. We have meditate. Get one more. No communication. What is going on with their person? And did we have this last week or the week before? Just so done. Bottom of the deck, we have the real deal. Holy fucking field. You hear me? All right. Let's go with these universe. Actually. Okay, I hear you. 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 Hold on, y'all. Picked up an Oracle deck and the universe is like, nah, son. Nah, son. No communication. What's going on with their person, universe? First card out. Empress. No communication. <laughs> oh, here we go. She's just another Queen of Cups. So we have the Empress, the Lovers, the Queen of Cups. It's just another sad love song wrecking my brain. Six of Swords. Oh, that's good. And last card. Uh-oh. Four of cups, bottom of the deck. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. A nine of, nine of swords. Who this person never ceases to amaze me. All right. So what's going on with your person no communication what's going on with your person your person is still moving through their pride um 
believe that card was out last week or the week before last, but it was in a different position, I believe, which is odd that I remember that. But your person is still afraid and still prideful. Their ego is getting the best of them. Well, not really getting the best of them, but they are still working through some of the challenges of their egos, um, blocking their path, blocking their way. And it's because they're measuring themselves up to you. See, your person has you up on a pedestal. Your person sees you as the empress. Your person sees you as something that is a being that is bountiful, that is able to create someone that is extremely beautiful, somebody who's radiant, who is passionate, who is, um, I want to say elegant for some reason. And I feel as though your person is working through their ego in regards to taking an altered view onto this situationship with you in particular. And they are realizing how, um, I, I feel like the stage or the phase that they're in right now, because they are shifting through it, they are looking at the love that you offered them and how they weren't really as serious as you were about this connection. And so they are seeing how patient you were being with them, how you were waiting on them to get their act together, how you were waiting on them to reciprocate the love that you were giving to them, where you were waiting on them to really grow, develop, and unfold, and they never did. And so what ended up happening was you shifted away from this. And so they're kind of in the end phase of the review of this situation ship, which I'm not really sure, but I feel like we talked about this before as well. So this is absolutely a continuation of where we have been in the last two or three weeks. So, um, and, and so now they see you as being just so done and the fear comes in, um, because they want to approach you. They want to speak to you. They want to reach out to you, but they feel that in doing so that you will reject them because you have since moved on and that you're having a good time in life. Um, I don't feel that not currently they see you tied up with somebody else or see you moving on with somebody else. I, I feel as though they see you just moving on with life and they're realizing that maybe through them having fun and trying to fit in and, you know, really just blending with everyone else and doing what everyone else was doing instead of realizing what they had right before them. I feel as though um, nothing compared to the connection that they had with you. They're, they're realizing that with you, they had something very real, which is why we have the real deal out here. And they are really kicking themselves in the head because they neglected this connection, this situation. And so they don't ever feel like they'll have that again or have that opportunity again or be able to find you in anyone else, which is what they're doing right now. And so underneath the real deal, we have wicked. We have wicked and then we have the three of wands. And so this person um, was, it was like you were waiting on this person to shift out of their mischievous ways to shift out of maybe even their player ways to actually want to settle down and you were i feel actively manifesting a shift a change in this person and you came to realize that you can't do the work for them you can't make anybody change you can't you know um make them grow up there's nothing that you can do you can't love somebody into life and I feel as though that's what your person is looking at now is the fact that coming to the realization that this very well could be done, done, you know, because they had something so great, but they weren't cherishing the gift of this connection. They weren't cherishing you or this connection at all. And I don't feel that your person was viewing this connection the way you may have viewed this connection in that they weren't serious they weren't monogamous they weren't any of those things and they definitely weren't reciprocating any love although i do feel that they felt that i feel as though um their pride and their ego got in the way i don't think i don't think it, it was like a matchup between you and other people or 
you know, I don't think it was anything like that. I think this person just didn't want to settle down. Like this person thought that they could just go and have this happy go lucky life and not settle down and just be happy, you know, fucking who they want to fuck, playing with who they want to play with, you know, disappearing out of people's lives when they wanted to and just not honoring connections at all. And so this person is um, realizing that the grass is not green on the other side. Like that is not really the life that they are aligned with. And for some people that, that life works, you know, um, but I don't feel that your person feels that that is the life that they are aligned with. And so the growth that you wanted your person to endure when you were with them, the changes you wanted your person to undergo when you were with them, it's happening to them now. And I feel like in a very mental way, in a very conceptual way, your person is growing up. And even though they are still blocked by barriers, the barriers of their mind, the barriers of pride and fear and ego, right? Even though that is still blocking them, they are shifting through that and they are at least open enough. They may not be saying it. They're definitely not communicating it to you. And I don't feel that they're communicating it to anyone else, but they are communicating it to themselves. They are seeing it for themselves, the altered view. They are looking at things not from a prideful stance, but they're able to shift from the pride and the ego and to silently see things as they were. And so they can't play the victim. They can't, they can't, you know, they're not looking at it from, well, I told them I didn't want nothing serious or I, I, you know, they're not looking at it from that standpoint. They're looking at it from a very fair and balanced and just place. Not even from your standpoint, because yours is even screwed, skewed, right? Your, I, I was about to say screwed. I actually did say screwed. But yours, yours is coming from a victim mentality too, because you both are hurt in a situation, but they're looking at it from a just place. I had this connection with this fantastic person that I could have built a lot of things with. And because this person was already stable, because this person was so vibrant and so beautiful, because this person could have anybody that they wanted, you know, I chose not to rise to the elevation and become the emperor in this person's life. Instead, I had a fling and I kept this person on hold. I kept this person waiting. And even now you're here watching this. This person still has you on hold and still has you waiting. And so there, there is a shift that needs to take place where you all disconnect completely from this energy that still has you bound to one another so that something else can come through whatever that may be but your person is thinking that um they're thinking a lot of things they think that you will reject them they think that you're no longer interested in a relationship with them they think that if anything you would friend zone them and that you would not take them seriously and that you would not give them the attention that you once did you won't have that same energy of the lover's card anymore and they won't possess all of your or consume all of your energy and that frightens them because in truth they didn't get to experience you or this connection at its fullest in its fullest because they didn't come to it whole and complete they got bits and pieces of you because they gave bits and pieces of themselves which is unfortunate because there's a lot of love here. The Empress, the Lovers, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Cups. There's a lot of love here. But in the same breath, there's a lot of pain here too. Mm -hmm. So let's get another dance. So universe, what is going on with that person? No communication. What is going on with that person, universe? Ricky Ticky. What is going on with that person, universe? Whoa, no communication. What's going on? What the is going on? What the is going on? What the what the what the is going on? You okay? Thank you. Hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic options not showing hand gambling hmm. 
What the is going on? Universe, one card at a time. What the is going on? What's going on with their person? We have book. Oh, isn't that something? Book in reverse. It says, I got to take my glasses off. I'm getting old. Hidden information or not yet revealed. Study. Isn't that crazy? In front of altar view. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> okay. What is going on, universe? The is going on what is going on what the is going on don't ask me why i'm saying it like that photograph we have looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making new memories what's going on universe what is going on We have abundance in front of meditate. Whoa, that one came out weird. And we have clover. Isn't that something? Huh. And it fell down. Bottom of the deck right now, we have separation. Isn't that funny? What's going on, universe? No communication. What's going on? What's going on? Too many. They steadily falling out. What's going on, universe? No communication. What's going on, universe? One at a time. No communication. What's going on? We have coffin. Ooh. Endings. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Mm, isn't that interesting? What's going on, universe? No communication. What's going on? What is going on? We have tower in reverse. Tower in reverse says law, authority, institution, structure, alone, up, and excel. Tower in reverse. We have seduction in reverse. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party, and interference in reverse. If you don't know me by now, you will never, never, never know me. Universe, one at a time. This is like 1500. One, universe, what's going on? No communication. If you don't know me by now. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. You will never, never, never know me. One more. And we have the Phoenix in reverse says new phase rekindle renew transformation growth changed mind see in reverse in front of that four cups whoo love in reverse love in reverse palm tree in reverse and clock in reverse if i could turn back time all right so yeah so what's going on um your person getting in their way looking at things Looking at things a lot more clearly with that book in reverse, not holding things back from themselves. And I feel like wanting to come to you and to tell you some things. I feel like it's a combination of things. I feel like it's some things that might hurt you, some truths that might hurt you, but it's also some things that you may not know about them. But I feel, I do feel that there's a little bit of manipulation there because it's like this person wants to pull on your heartstrings because they don't know how else to come forward. And so this person is missing you. No matter what this person um, pretends to be doing, having fun, hanging out, whatever the case may be, this person is absolutely missing you. And this person is thinking about the abundance that they had in you, the abundant love, the unconditional love, the abundant, because you were the empress. So you, there was so much growth happening or could that could have happened and i feel like this person feels that 
Life is not as radiant without you. I don't think I can make it. Um, life is not as radiant without you and that their luck is gone or that their luck is run out. And it also coincides with what I said earlier in regards to this person can't find you and anyone else. You know, I don't think this person was looking for better than you, but I just think that this person wasn't ready to settle down. And, and so I think this person thought that they could, again, go on and live this life and just, just live your life. Hey, and they can't. They can't because they keep coming back to you. And so I feel like in all of this, you felt like you lost a piece of yourself. You lost a side of yourself. You you look at this person as your one. Your person is now realizing that you are their one. And so I feel like something within you died because of however this connection ended. It was extremely unexpected. And I feel like it, it was like a ton of bricks that hit you over the head. And not only are you saddened by the way in which this ended and what this person may have done to you, but you're also saddened by the fact that you, there's a sense of you that feels stupid almost. It's, there's a sense of you that's like, why did you, why did you keep yourself in this situation? Why did you allow this person to do this to you? You know what I mean? Why did you allow them to play these games? Um, and, and to still keep an eye on you. And the moment that you were ready to walk away, they knew exactly what to do to pull you back in. And then you went. And so I feel as though you're at a point where there's a lot of growth happening within you. And because of how things ended and because of the feelings that you feel in regards to a, a death of sorts of this situation, you really putting this to bed. You don't know if you can go back to this person and actually have a relationship with them. You don't know. Friendship, maybe. But you don't know if you could ever trust this person again. And you don't know if you want to put yourself back in a situation like that again. Because I do feel that, to an extent, this kind of knocked you off your empress stance. However it ended, it really took a toll on you. Mm-hmm. So we're going to take, do an extended read on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. First question I'm going to ask is what's their next move? And then we'll take it from there. So if you'd like to join me in the extended, the link is down below. If you want to get a personal reading with me, you can find that information down below. If you'd like to book a live coaching session with me, it's down below. TikTok, I am the Mystic Butterfly and also the Red Pill Pusher. On Facebook, I have a group called the Braveheart Experience. And on Instagram, it's the Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. If you don't want to follow me anywhere because you know I'm lost too, you don't have to. Stay down, y'all. It's a marathon.